Welcome to San Antonio, Texas, and remember the Alamo Dome is home to the Roadrunners of UTSA, and we are fired up to get this game underway. Today, we're set for a clash between these two rivals from the Mountain West. As we'll see, the Air Force Falcons taking on the winners of five straight, the UTSA Roadrunners. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Falcons will get us underway with the opening kickoff. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So UTSA's offense will start this game off. And there he is, a man who makes an entire stadium hold its breath every time he touches the ball, Jesse. This defense better have a lot of breath in this game, too, because he gets better as the game goes on. He's the kind of guy, David, who can wear a defense down. And he is the primary focus. That's what this defense is focused and keyed in on. we got to stop him if we're going to have success today. To the air, it's McCown. He's got his man, and he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. And the Roadrunners will hustle to the line. Snap from the gun on third down. Complete. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. A new set of downs after the completion. They pick up the first down on the drag route. Good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm... Look at that toughness just running through everybody. The Roadrunners are moving quickly down the field. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. Maybe a little frustrated after that last incompletion. It's second and 10 from the 38. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. Unloads to the wideout. And he got a hand in there. Knocks it away incomplete. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. He rifles one deep down the right side. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, UTSA! You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game and get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they pay it off with a strike from 38 yards out. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Air Force's offense taking the field first chance we have to see them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They'll run the option. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. This defense has kept him backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Feeling some heat. Pulls it in. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Falcons will punt it away on fourth down. He'll call for the fair catch here. First down here for the offense. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Knew where he wanted to go with it, but couldn't find his target. It's incomplete. 
After misfiring, it's second down. Back to throw, it's McCown. They're bringing heat. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. This defense got a lot of people's attention last week when they had three sacks. And you know the offense was watching film, and they saw all these pass rushers and their abilities. They thought they had a good plan, but it's not working right now. They've already given up a sack here early in the game. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. And he feels the heat coming in. It burns him up. Another sack. Well, this guy's become a bit of a problem for opposing offenses. In their last game, he had two sacks, and he's dominating again, getting his first sack in this game now. He right now is wrecking people's game plans, and this offense better find out how to slow him down. And the Roadrunners will try to pin them back with the punt. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Gets off his first one of the day. He was called on five times in the victory last week. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. First down for this offense. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. And now on second down for this offense. The option look, running with power. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Reels it in down the left side. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Air Force! When you can run like that, the quarterback is going to give you opportunities. And look at him run by the defenders. QB sees it, stick the hand up in the air, catch the football, get to the end zone. Lining up for the PAT. And it's up and good. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Gentlemen, it has gone final in that top 25 matchup. We've been keeping a close eye on. USC went scorched earth in a double-digit win that might have been worse had they not sat the starters in that fourth quarter. Total destruction by the Trojans in a statement win if there ever was one. Each week in college football, the tests are just so tough. And we found that out again today, guys, with another ranked team going down. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. The play action fake. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. He's looking downfield to throw. On third and long, you know what's coming. It's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. The Roadrunners decide to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. Looking for a block, it's Harris. Boy, did he show it all on that return. The speed, the explosiveness, and took a little momentum with him out of bounds. 
on the option. Bulldozes him. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Falcons. And these design QB runs, man, they really test the physicality of this defense. Knowing this quarterback's going to tote the rod, they know that there's now an extra blocker, so somebody on defense is going to have to make a superhuman effort, get off a block and make a play. They could not get that done right there. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position, and they struck quickly for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. UTSA takes over in the offense, ready to hit the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. They'll run it from the gun. Discards a man. In his sophomore season, he's really learned to find that running room. And the Roadrunners come to the line in the hurry up. Red pass, it's complete. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. The Roadrunners come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Caught in the backfield, it's Clark. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. No huddle, offense to the line. He's back to throw on second down. Finds his tight end. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Let's see what they do here on third and short from the 41. Looking to throw it again. Coming at him. And he's all bottled up. And now it's worse. The ball's loose. And the defense jumps on it. And they get that turnover. You know, as quarterbacks, you've got to be good in the pocket. Even when things are collapsing and you've got guys swiping at it, you've got to have two hands on the football. Didn't do a really good job with ball security there. And that led to the fumble. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. They've got it at the 36 on first and 10. They'll leave it with him. Makes him talk to the hand. Had to work to pick up three down to the 33-yard line. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Defense didn't maintain its discipline there, and they get into the neutral zone. It'll cost them five yards. Defense a little too eager. That's an encroachment penalty, five yards for the offense. On the option. The Falcons will keep this drive going. It's now first and 10 from the 24-yard line. Here comes the option. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. Hand off to the fullback. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. And the Falcons look to do some damage in the red zone. The give to the fullback. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Motion from the offense. A run for the quarterback. 
dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. While we're only through one, these quarterbacks have been lighting up their stat lines. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. They have just bloodied their nose on this drive all on the ground. It's first and ten. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Wants to throw on third down. Buys a little extra time. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Air Force! That touchdown gives his team a pretty significant lead at this point. And that's what you want. You want to start fast. You want everything to come out, start clicking, make some plays. It doesn't always work that way, but when you do, man, the energy, the crowd, everybody's into it. Now the other team better respond. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point puts them on top 21 to 7. So they covered 42 yards on the drive. And he got into the house from the six to finish it. Coming out with it, it's Carpenter. And I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. his man on the left and he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one and the road runners moving quickly to the line to the air it's McCown trying to get to it that pass is incomplete and they might be fortunate it wasn't knocked free for a fumble it'll be third down from the gun, wants to pass. Has no choice but to throw it away and it'll bring up fourth down. The Roadrunners will call on their punt team. They'll look to pin them deep. He'll bring it back, it's Harris. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42 yard line. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect him. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now on the same page. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The Falcons send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The offense set for a first down play. Catch in the middle. It's McCoy. Really needed to play like that to get out of their own end. They move the chains. They mark it at the 29. Caught behind the line. It's McCoy. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. Offense in the hurry up. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Use the play fake, now to throw. Got it behind the line, it's McCoy. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Got the completion on the last play, still some work to do on second down. They're gonna throw it again. 
finds his big tight end. Couldn't ask for much more there. A first down, and they're down to the 42. And the Roadrunners come to the line with a new set of downs. Hand off to the single back. Dances away from one. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of this. Throws for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, UT San Antonio. You know, sometimes as a play caller, you just don't have to overthink things. I've got a guy who's faster than your guys, and he's just going to run straight down the field. I'm going to throw it way down the field. He's going to make the catch, and we're going to score a touchdown, and that's pretty much what just happened there. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they're down a touchdown, 21-14. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. West Virginia sparkled today in a dominant road win. In fact, by the fourth quarter, it almost felt like this game was being played at Morgantown. That's how much they took that crowd out of it. The circle of life in college football where one team moves on feeling like kings and the other heads home licking its wounds. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. He'll pitch it. Fights off a defender. Several defenders get an assist on that tackle. Big third down coming from their own 31. Defense tries to get off the field. On the move. And the Falcons get enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Going up top on first down. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. They'll line up for a second down play. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. And he throws hands with that strong, stiff arm, but still not a lot of running room there. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. And they make the tackle, but the official has tossed his flag. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. This defense happy with how that last play turned out, so they'll decline the penalty. The Falcons will send out the punt unit. On the move, it's Anderson. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. Looking for a productive play on first down. The gift to the back. Barrels all the way to the 29, a gain of six. The Roadrunners are in the hurry up. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. They've got it out to the 34 after getting five there. Lining up from the 34 on first down. He wants to throw. Incomplete. And man, is he lucky to get that one back. Defense that close to an interception. After the misfire now on second down. On the run, it's Henry. Low man wins, and he just smashed him. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. On third down, he drops to throw. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. And if your job is to irritate, to confuse, to hit, to make quarterbacks feel very uncomfortable, this defense is definitely doing their job. Six sacks. That's the way to make the quarterback feel like he's having a hard day. He's had no response. This offensive line has no response. Just a sack party. And the Roadrunners will bring the punt team onto the field. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. 
Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Now on third down for this offense. Goes to the option. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. And the Falcons line up to punt it away. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Off he goes. The 20. And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Roadrunners. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man. And we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half. Stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. He'll try to tack on one more. Hit that one with some aggression for the point out. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. And the returner will be knocked down. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of their you-know-what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Running back goes in motion. Power football with the run. They stop him after a short game. Probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. He's got great speed. Returns going to get it up around midfield. He'll be down at the 49-yard line. Line gets set, first down. He's going to pass. Makes his connection. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running, second down coming. Looking for a man. It's McCow. Getting some heat. And the quarterback is snowed under. Got to get to the line quickly for this third down play. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Pressure coming. Forced to just throw it away on third down, and now they face four. The Roadrunners will punt this one away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. On the return, it's Harris. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. So let's see how they play it in this final 30 seconds of the first half. The back goes in motion. Give to the big fullback. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. 
this offense has a second down play. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, a stirring start to things today in San Antonio as we say hello from our broadcast studios. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside the Alamo Dome. And the Roadrunners will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. Run it with the fullback. They needed to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. They ran it on first down, now on second. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Boy, could they use a conversion on third and short from their own 24. Now on the option. Tough, hard-nosed run. He picks up three, but stopped just short. It'll be fourth and one. The Falcons will line up to punt it away. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Bringing it back, it's Anderson. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. Here comes the offense onto the field again. Wants to throw on first down. He's got him in the flat. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. The Roadrunners want to crank the tempo. You know, as a quarterback, you believe in your matchup. And, and my running back, if I can get him the ball in space, he's going to win a lot of times. He did in that time. The defense was ready. Nice job in the open field making the nice tackle. Looking to throw, it's McCow. It's complete. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. And the Roadrunners come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. It's complete. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Now on second down. Well, the offense is trying to get a big-time playmaker the ball out in space quickly with the wide receiver screen, but the defense is having none of it. He's going to pass on second down. Makes the grab. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. They'll put the tight end in motion. He'll do it himself. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. Almost got to the sticks on third down. Able to pick up six, but they're looking at a fourth and one. The Roadrunners will try to pin them back with the punt. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. And the punt hits ground at the two and goes into the end zone. He just missed, pinning them right in the shadow of the goalpost. It'll come out to the 20. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets them out to the 25-yard line. They'll run the option. A run up the middle is stopped for no gain. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Looking to throw, it's Busha. Throws to the wideout. Complete downfield. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Fullback's got it. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. 
on second down, wants to throw it. And he can't escape, and down he goes. That's a good example there of complementary defense. The DBs and linebackers are playing zone, they're playing their spaces, and they force the QB to, to have to hold the ball, try to work through his progressions, and then the pass rush, they win up front. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Got his man quickly. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll wave for the fair catch and haul it in at the 25. UTSA will take over in the offense, ready to return to the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. Couldn't find anybody to throw to. He'll just toss it away. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Pocket starts to collapse. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. And a great job by the defense. Dropping in zone coverage. All eyes on the quarterback. Taking away the options. And then the, finally the pass rush gets home. Gets him on the ground. And the Roadrunners headed quickly to the line. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. The Roadrunners will punt it away on fourth down. He'll try to really get into this one. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. They'll go to work on second down after doing damage on the ground. On the option, Bulls his way forward. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. This feels like four down territory, third and short from the 40. He'll ride his man on the option. The pitch. On the move at the 30. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Wide open downfield. Slicing and dicing through this defense, and they've got it down to the 23. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. They'll run the option. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. And the Falcons come to the line with a new set of downs. The option look. Touchdown, Falcons! They look finished, but they're all the way back, and they have the lead. First and goal. You know what's coming. They know what's coming. Can you stop it? And you can't. Pound the football straight ahead. Get in for six. Nice job by the big fella. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it a 28-21 score. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Memphis was able to come away with a hard-fought victory in Bluff City. It wasn't one coaches will point to the rest of the way as a perfect 60 minutes of ball.
but it is a step in the right direction. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Let's see if they play it conservatively and try to get some of the yardage back on second and long from the 13. Blasted as he lets it go. Got him downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. And the Roadrunners want to pick up the tempo. Unloads quickly. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Third and short now. They snap it from their own 46. To the air. It's McCow. He's right on target. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. That's the end of the quarter. Air Force has the lead here. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. Off play action on first down. Looking to the big tight end. He makes a catch. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. I know it's something we take for granted, guys, but the Q did a great job there with the play-action fake. He really took his time and sold it. And that's what froze the linebacker. Nowhere to go with the ball and down. He goes at the 39. They've got a really good drive going, but a little speed bump here at second and 13. He'll try to pop the draw. And he's stuffed by that big defensive tackle up front. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, he'll need to push it downfield. And the defense will corral the quarterback, and down he goes at midfield. And that is a major reason why this team is losing the football game. They can't protect the quarterback. They can't generate big plays in the passing game because up front, they're getting beaten time and time again. The Roadrunners decide to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. And the pressure gets there, and down he goes at the 18. When you talk about outstanding pass rushers, you're always talking about dynamic guys. He's been that each and every week for this defense. Speed, he's got power. You just simply can't block him. And that last play is his 10th sack of the season. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Makes the grab on the left. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Falcons will call on their punt team. No return coming here. Fair catch is signal for and made just shy of the 30. UTSA takes over in the offense, ready to hit the field. He uncorks a bullet to the right. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. 
And the Roadrunners want to move quickly. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go. The football had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. He hurls one deep down the left side. And they took a shot on that one, but couldn't make the connection. It's incomplete. After the missed connection, it's second down. Back to pass. It's McCown. They're trying to get to it. And the defense will corral the quarterback, and down he goes at midfield. Well, quarterback went down behind center pretty quick that time, and it makes you wonder as a play caller, against this pass rush, do you start thinking about maybe rolling your quarterback out and changing the launch point? Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete, and fourth down's coming. The Roadrunners send out the punt unit. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs on the option. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Second down coming up. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. And the Falcons are on the move. Running back searching for a hole. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. On the option. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. The chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. Wants to throw. It's Boucher. And they're on him immediately. Down goes the quarterback. And it's such an advantage for this defense to have an outside linebacker like that that can rush the passer because they can set the edge. They can get off the ball, and they're just way too fast for tight ends or for offensive tackles to get out and block them. The Falcons will send out the punt unit. Fair catch called for and made around the 20-yard line. UTSA will take over in the offense, ready to return to the field. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front at the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Yeah, and the best news is your defense at least forced a punt of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop while this game is still close. Let's just gonna keep putting more points on the board, and let's see less of the punter. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And he'll be tackled, but there is a flag on the field. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Open. Open. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. And the Roadrunners will bring the punt team onto the field. That's usually prime return position, but he'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. A first down for the offense. Here comes the option. He'll keep it himself. He just has a nose for those little crevices to be able to find space, and he picks up the first down. 
goes to the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. And if you didn't know this was a big play, the crowd is telling you a huge third down. Scanning the field, it's Busha. Feeling some heat. Pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. How nice is it as a defense when you can drop seven guys in a coverage, only rush four, and still get home? That makes you feel good if you're the D coordinator. And the Falcons line up to punt it away. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. UTSA takes over in the offense, ready to hit the field. To the air on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Clark. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Calling a timeout here, you have to avoid making a mistake in this situation. They'll throw it on first down. He wants a big play here late. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Right back to the air on second and ten. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. Going to try to get it himself. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the right. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. He's looking to throw. Going to take a shot. And it's incomplete, going for the massive explosive play. Instead, they're looking at a third down. Looking to throw, it's McCow. Coming after it. He'll just throw it away, and it'll be fourth down. No sign of the punt team as they will go for it and try to move those chains. They're throwing for it on fourth down. Looking down the middle. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. The give to the fullback. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. I'd expect we're going to get another dose of the running game at this point, even though it's second and 11. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Picks up just a few before he's brought down. Not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. The Falcons will punt this one away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. UTSA will take over in the offense, ready to return to the field. And they're going to have to fight this defense, and they're also up against it with time, Jesse. Yeah, no doubt, Reese. And this quarter... And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. He'll spike the ball to try to save every precious second he can. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. No signs of any kind of kicker as they'll leave the offense out there to try to move those chains. Here's a throw downfield late. Fires it into a crowd and it's picked off. He'll try to take it back. He'll go out of bounds, but he gets the ball back, takes it the other way, and he has created a great sudden change opportunity.
Oh, that was a pretty rough showing there by this team. Just couldn't find a way to get things going and come up with the win. Just got outplayed, Reese. There were moments in this game, there were plays to be had and plays to be made. At the end of the day, they just did not execute well enough in any of the three phases on any side of the football. So, David, moving forward, a lot to take away from this game as they try to win. A lot to take away and a lot to learn from. I mean, losses definitely hurt, they sting, but a lot of times most teams refocus and they get a sense of urgency now that they got a loss in that column. So watch the tape, watch what you need to improve on, and go attack it in practice. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.